last night on the Disney Wish, but tonight we are gonna celebrate Kyle's 30th birthday. So come be our guest and let's have a great last night here on the Disney Wish. Welcome back to your daily dose, everybody. We're gonna, well, I think Casey's gonna get a little snack here in the, the Marceline market. We've got Worlds of Marvel tonight. We have the show. I don't think I've ever seen the show that's in the Grand Hall. It's gonna be a long night. Ooh, I was gonna get an espresso martini, can I? I don't think anyone's there. It would have been nice to start off the celebration tonight of turning 30. I think, I, I think they are here. I wanna get an espresso martini. I don't have my phone with me, so I didn't know if they're closed or not, but they're closed. We're gonna go to the Wishing Star to probably get our first drink of the night. Is the buffet closed? This, this section is, I don't know if we keep going on. There might be some stations that are still open. We're gonna check. We have turned into elevator goers on this ship. However, I kind of feel like I'm out of the loop because I don't have my phone and you don't really know anything that's going on in the ship without your phone. So we're kind of wandering blind. Ah, uh, yeah, book four. Wandering blind at the moment. This is the most we've ever taken an elevator on a cruise together. I'm not mad about it. I think that if the elevators are cute on the inside, then we got to take them. <laughs> that should be the rule. No. Just this one trip. Okay. We'll see. We also have to see Aladdin tonight. Can't wait to see that. They're also showing Wish in the movie theater. However, we kind of decided that if we do that, we're going to fall asleep. Hence why we're going to go get a espresso martini there it is show and wish elemental tonight no nah, that's gonna put me to sleep we're gonna test oh casey has her phone okay i didn't know she had her phone until right now but we're gonna try this disney uncharted adventure i don't know if we come up to like anything like this and we just tap and it comes alive Ooh. it's like a little make my disney me character creator it's a nice little game Get started. Just, just get it started. Okay, I do want to be pink, obviously. Okay. Real quick, a little backstory on this to give you some context. We uh, were just kind of navigating on the app and we found Disney Uncharted Adventure. It's, it's a game that is on the Disney Cruise Line app that you can activate anytime on your cruise. And it takes you around the cruise playing mini games, going on an adventure. There's like a total of four of them. And this is kind of what we just discovered on the spot. And I hope you guys enjoy this. This was fun for us. It's a fun way for families to enjoy just a game together. Start your first quest now. Simply tap your spyglass here and off you go. Tap? Or do you do you tap right there? Oh no, here. <gasps> Wait. Wait, what is this? I'm confused. I don't think this is... I think we're, I don't know what's going on. Oh. So we have to go to the Grand Hall. The the it's actually Russian back on deck three. Cool. We'll be arriving there shortly. Okay. Would you investigate for us? Just head to the location shown on your spot. So we have to go there. We're going to click I've arrived. All set. Is this going to do something? Oh yeah, access your camera. With the Line with the, star. right down there. Oh. No way. Oh, look, 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 look. Wow. Okay. <laughs> this is so fun. This is cool for kids. And for adults. That's Are Peter. Are you kidding me? Well, I know the best one in the night sky. It's the second star to the right. To get there, all it takes is faith, trust, and pixie dust. Come on, I'll show you. Look at that. Wait. Oh my gosh. What? It's like a game? Wait. <laughs> You're gonna fly. I'm gonna fly. You gotta control Peter, okay? okay. Yeah, up and down. You got okay. this. No okay. pressure, Casey. I'm not a gamer, but we'll try our Yeah, you, you gotta switch now. Ooh. You got that? Just tap the mm -hmm. screen. <laughs> you gotta get the stars. You gotta get the stars. Don't hit the lightning. I think the lightning's bad. So cool! Watch out! Oh, no. no! She just came out of nowhere. No lightning, no lightning, no lightning. 
Back up a little bit. Go, go. No, no. Don't speed up. There you go. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Honestly, this is kind of a cool way to kind of kill some time, which we're trying to do right now. Now there's multiple, like, stories you can do, and it takes you all around the cruise ship. Again, there's just so much to do on the Wish that, like, three nights, it's it's tough to do it all. Oh, ooh! We have to go find Tinkerbell now. We gotta go find Tinkerbell. Gives us, gives you an, another cutscene. It's gonna tell us where to go to do the next experience. You know, one thing we didn't do as well, which we're gonna be seeing tonight, is the Kiss Goodnight, the beautiful one. That's at like different times. It's gonna probably be right after the show that's actually in the Grand Hall. I don't remember this show that we're about to see in here. I don't think I've ever seen it. Think of this as like a fun scavenger hunt with, with mini games when you arrive, is what it is essentially. And we got a wishing star. Which we're gonna get an espresso martini. Two espresso martinis. Coming right on up for KP and KC. One last one. Oh. What'd you get? Oh. Taylor Swift, thank you. Wow. <laughs> Next mini game was to match the keys with the lanterns. So far, nothing on the screen here. Here, we unlocked it. Oh! Look at the lanterns. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> Whoa! This is a really fun way to kill some time because we're still at Castaway. There's kind of like a little bit of time in between like activities for us. So this is so fun. I'm really happy we discovered this. Not like this is like wasting time by any means. It's actually really, really fun. Casey loves this. Oh, you see him moving? Yeah, I saw him. It's beautiful. We found the next portrait. Also, by the way, um, no reservation needed for the hyperspace anymore. Just come on in when they're open, and hopefully there's a spot. Oh, it's just, oh, it's... My shadow must be around here somewhere. Oh, you gotta find his shadow. Oh, that is so cool. You gotta, you gotta, gotta get, get it, tap him. We got him. We gotta capture the shadow. Shadow. There he is, right there. Oh, shoot. He's here, get him. Yes. Goodness, it looks like the piece of the wishing star's magic might be on that pirate ship. It's like a quick little dip in the hyperspace lounge. You can actually just hang in here if you want. I mean, they're not serving drinks, but if you want to, come here. Where's DJ Rex? By the way, we're playing the Uncharted Adventure. It's right on the app. Yes. Disney Cruise app. We've got a, a slingshot type game here. <laughs> Can't believe this is what we're doing to celebrate the 30th birthday here. All right, fire, fire, fire. Get him. Yo, you gotta keep going, you gotta keep going, babe. You gotta destroy him. No, get him. Oh. Learning here. There you go, there you go, there you go. Good job. Casey's a focused gamer. <laughs> you don't get any commentary out of her. <laughs> Look at this concentration face. I can never be a Twitch streamer. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sit back, relax, and hope she gets the treasure. Mmm. <laughs> Babe, if you get the treasure, I think it's a Disney treasure free cruise. <laughs> I defeated him, of course. Woo! And now we watch on here, or go to the next one. Wow, how many are there? I'm thinking this is potentially the last one. 
going on? Well, Nikki, a bit of the star's magic landed on the ship, and I'm trying to find it. Oh, can I help? You sure can. According to my calculations, it should be right here in this area. Huh? And it'll be easy to find, right? Right. Uh, Mickey, are you okay? Ah, don't worry about me. <laughs> I'm just trying to scratch an itch on my back. Are you sure? Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's no problem. Uh, uh, let's keep looking. <laughs> now, where was I? What? Following the trajectory. Maybe this will help. At this angle, the piece of missing magic should be right here. What? You're not using a piece of the star's magic to scratch your back, are you? Oh, uh. Uh, uh, look what I found, Minnie. I'll just be moving along now. <laughs> Lots to do today. Oh, bye. <laughs> oh, that Mickey Mouse. <laughs> what did we win? I think we won. Yay. That was it. And then you look for like another constellation. And you go do that around the ship. Yeah, there's like one, two... Ooh. Three, I think there's four of them. Yep, four of them. Cool. We got a shop later as well. Show you all the merch and buy some merch. Right this way. <laughs> Casey's on another one right now. Now they actually have an event going on. It's Battle for the Wishing Star, Uncharted Adventure. Probably when I come on next time I'm gonna do this, but this looks like a whole like audience type participation in with the mobile app game here in the Luna Lounge. In part of our journey and our celebration of Kyle, we're gonna take him back to his teen years and we're gonna show him what it would have been like to be a teenager again at the Edge Open House. Now the edge is 11 to 14, but if you're you're 10, your parents can actually sign a waiver and you can head on in to edge. This is a very fun little space. It kind of has got a vibe of California Adventure in a way. I don't know why, I just kind of feel like I'm at California Adventure. It's really fun. Got some kids playing video games. They've got Xboxes, they got PS5s, and they got Switch, which is all down there. And I think this is just like they can get drinks, you know, soda, water, and they really love it. They really love it. Very fun. Here's a look at some of the activities that they have for the day and the layout. Looks like trivia is going to begin after we all leave and then video game challenge. Look at this. It's open till midnight. Opens at 10. Here's a look at like the game stations. There's um, kids behind us, so I'm not going to not gonna film them playing their games, but it looks like just they might have some TVs going on here. Oh, and there's the Switch. Oh, they got like literally all the games. Seems fun. Really does. Your kids could be in here all day. And you guys can do what we're about to do, probably. We're just partying. We have fun that we just made here. You said that this has been the highlight of his whole crew. So don't feel bad if your kids want to come here because they're having a time of their lives. Wait, this is so cool. They have an ice cream count. Looks like Brighton is killing it. Yeah. <laughs> Got a very nice cheese plate here. Thank you. Thank you, Disney. Don't mind if I do. Quick costume change. Here is my pretty much last outfit of the ship. And we also got this stunning gal's costume change. Thank you. I love your outfit tonight. Right back I mean, at I you. Love, I love most of your outfits. You ready? Thanks, babe. <laughs> Let's go. You're supposed Yeah, it's Sorry. fine. I take no offense. It is time to get our celebration on. We're gonna go to the bayou. Way more packed now, it's popping. 
I love how they have all the menus on like apps because it just adds like that extra sparkle to it. Cause like, look at this mama's concoctions. I decided to get the smoked old fashioned. Casey is still looking, but here's some of their zero proof. Then we got the beer, of course, the wine. I mean, you gotta get one of these ones for sure. We'll see what she gets, but they have abstinence, which is, you know, what they have in New Orleans. And hint, hint, I'm actually gonna be going to New Orleans sometime this year. Can't wait. No better way to announce it than at the Bayou with Tiana. Oh my gosh, Tiana's stopping on by. I don't think I've seen her by the Bayou. I don't know if she's roaming, but that's cool. I think Tiana just happened to be roaming on by because she's going to the Grand Hall, but you know, she's just dropping by. Her lovely Bayou. Beautiful. How is your restaurant doing? Oh, it's going well, thank you for asking. Oh, amazing. You're going to have two of food. Yes, it's been the best thing. Amazing. Oh my gosh, it's so good. But honestly, really, you're amazing. I just lost my mate. She's test my alligator friendly with some Oh, that way. Oh, hold on. Yes. Wow, look at this. Are you? Do you do the honors? Do you want to do the honors? You can open it up. Yeah, you can open. Vinny Gums. Okay, so we we got the bayou. Now, I wish I could keep this. This would be cool, but I don't think we can. See what happens. Smoky. I think she's waiting to take the box back. This is a, a definitely turning 30 drink. Case decided not to get a drink, but she did get to meet Tiana, so that's okay. I think I need to try one of her beignets. If it does smell incredible. It smells good. You can actually smell this drink pretty much throughout the whole area. The smoke at least, you know? Yeah. Oof. Is it good? Very smooth. You can taste how strong it is, but like this is a smooth drink. I feel like the more expensive they get here on the Wish, the smoother they go down. That is probably accurate. Mm -hmm. I do want to try it. I just feel like I haven't had, haven't had enough water today, so. It's smooth. I don't know if you're gonna like it. It's not as strong as I thought it was gonna be. It's very smooth. Definitely not my kind of drink, <laughs> though it has a really nice aroma to it. It, it really smells, does. It smells really nice. It kinda smells like a campfire. Mm-hmm. That's a good way, yeah, exactly. Yeah. It smells like a campfire. I love it. Mm. I love that. I was enjoying the drink a little bit too much and I forgot I had to pay. She asked for my key to the world car and I was like, ah, that's right. I <laughs> almost walked away with this drink and on. It's crazy. You just hand the card over though and it's just like, poof, it's settled up. In the future, it's just to be like, poop, <laughs> poop. How was it? We got a beignet. Casey had to get a beignet and of course, we got a beignet. They're only like a dollar, dollar like 20. So is this worth it? For $1.75, I'd say it's worth a try, but I've had better beignets. I will be honest on that. We were curious what this line was, so we asked the cast member, and it's a line to meet Princess Belle, but it's actually at the Royal Studio, so it's not in like the main Royal Hall atrium area. It's its own private backdrop. I didn't even know that existed. Deck five, just before five o'clock. We are gonna hop on over to another bar, but it's technically a barbary. But we're gonna go actually get an old fashioned inside Hooks Barbary. They have, I guess, some of the best old fashions. Hooks Barbary, it turns into a little secret beverage place. And there's actually a lot of people in here at the moment. It turns into a bar. A secret bar. This is definitely more of an elevated experience of old fashioned, so it's quite a long process and it's got a long line, so this must be very good. I've never had it before. Oh, welcome to the secret bar here on the Disney Wish. For those who love bourbon or just like trying drinks in general, it's kind of actually like a private experience. If you know what you want, he'll probably make it and it's some really good stuff, so you know. We'll see what happens. 
So uh, we're going to start off, uh, Old Fashioned is a three ingredient cocktail, which is sugar, bitters and whiskey. So we're going to start off with our sugar syrup. So we can choose between demerara, cherry, salted caramel, vanilla, dark chocolate or maple. So whichever one you'd like, I can hey, give you recommendations. Make me whatever you want to make. Honestly, okay, I'm just here. For, I'm just here for the ride. Okay, I'm going to make you one of my uh, yeah, one of my uh, uh, more famous okay. recipes, which is the chili chocolate old fashioned. Do you like chili spice? Chocolate. Yeah, I do yeah. like spice. Yeah, perfect. Okay, so we're going to go with dark chocolate syrup. Put a wee bit dash in like that. Uh, we're just going to go with uh, let's go with the orange bitters this time. I think chili okay, chocolate orange bitters. I'll take that. I'll take that. Here we go. A few dashes of that inside. Now this is a uh, uh, bird's eye chili. Um, so. Bit of a spice here. We're just going to put the seeds in just to uh, make it difficult for you when you drink it. Um, so, <laughs> thanks, hey, but thanks, this has right? a bit of a spice baby. to it. So, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's good. I like spice. No worries. Uh, and then it's icing it up. Now, next thing is uh, the Angel's Envy. This is the bourbon I recommend for all the old fashions. Um, it's a fantastic bourbon. This one. It's really good. Yeah. There it is. Yeah. There you go. Finishing a port wine cask as well. So, slightly smoother and easier to drink than the regular ones. Thing about a boom. Oh, sure. So we're just going to garnish it with the orange peel, just get some of those oils inside like that, and then we're just going to take a little spin. Oh boy. Make sure it all gets nice and mixed. Okay, final touches, we've got the bourbon cologne, so we're just going to give this a little spray. Just to make it smell nice. And then of course we're going to smoke it, right? So we're going to smoke it with the oak wood chips. i put it under like so. Get some of these oak woods. Stack that in there. Turn this one on. And then we're going to ignite it so it should start to smoke up pretty immediately. That is so cool. Yeah, it's pretty awesome, isn't it? That probably never gets old, does it? It does. It really doesn't. It really doesn't. So, yeah. Honestly, we don't even need to smoke it that much because uh, it's pretty good, this machine, to be honest with you. So we can just leave it like that. Uh, and uh, are you ready? Yeah, let's Excellent. do it. Excellent, let's do it. There you oh go, fantastic. Uh, very own chili chocolate orange old fashioned. Dude, that was awesome. Yeah, that's pretty cool. What an experience. Am I right, guys? $20 for, for this and that was just fun. Yeah, I would say compared to like the drink I got yesterday, the $51 drink like this, that was such a cool experience, but if you like old fashioned, I would say do this instead because the experience is really fun. That was really cool. You do have to be a little bit patient though, so one at a time. But yeah. you get to see them making all the other ones. And it really fun. It smells amazing. so neat. You take all the different things for it. It's the secret invitational bar only. Something really fun is happening in the Grand Hall is that we're just kind of like playing a little game. They're giving secrets and we have to guess the movies. Well, not secrets, they're giving little, little hints. And then everyone's shouting out what they think the movie is. Oh, it's so good. You're talking to me. I think it's the new queen. Your queen, yes. You don't mind me. Well, you are friendly. Yes. Your power shines. That's now the story of a lady in one minute. Great performance. Oh, we love it so much. Title. Are you enjoying your birthday? Yes. Well, with that, to the theater we go. I still have this drink. I still have the drink. You're just sipping and savoring. Mm-hmm. Is that a seat? Mm-mm. It's ice. Oh. <laughs> Time to go see Aladdin. No recording. I haven't seen this one yet. We are showing up with about five minutes remaining, and there's still plenty of spots open. Just where do we go? I don't know. 
Before the show, we gotta get popcorn though. This is the one show we're gonna get popcorn. The only way to uh, purchase the popcorn is in a refillable little popcorn carrier. 10 bucks, a dollar per refill, like a dollar 50. But you can use it in the parks. Wow, that was really, really good. See Aladdin, if you're gonna pick one of three, go see Aladdin. Definitely, that was unreal. I had high expectations for it because Little Mermaid was awesome, but this Aladdin. just like blew it out of the water. Aladdin. Aladdin, 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 Aladdin. Aladdin. Right here. Chip and Dale. We gotta meet Chip and Dale and it's still light out. We thought it was gonna be dark. I found something. Something illegal. We found an illegal duck. Good hiding spot. Chippendale seemed to have one of the longest lines. Um, it is wrapped around, so unfortunately I don't think I'll actually be taking a picture of Chippendale, but I do want to at least see how adorable they are. We got to the front, and no offense to Pluto, Pluto took Chippendale's spot. <laughs> Yay! Chippendale! That was a cool one. Shake your tail feather. We love you guys! Would you look at that sunset? Would you just look at it? Wow. Wow, it's like the 4th of July. Let's go. Worlds of Marvel is going to be our last dining experience here on the Disney Wish. Ending with a bang. And we're rope dropping it. We are rope dropping it. And we are about to head on in. Worlds of Marvel, they kind of hold your entrees, at least the last time I was here. So we kind of just showed up a little bit later. And um, we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. Also, it's really loud in the hallway, so we wanted to come when we're, the lines pretty much diminished to so just us. Yeah. This generation of heroes with live demonstrations of exciting beauty. Here we are, 604. Looking at a uh, perfect spot right here. Quick look at the menu for tonight, or very last night. I'm gonna get a couple things here. I'm gonna get a couple things. I'm hungry, I waited for tonight, and you know, we haven't had a shrimp cocktail. That's as close as we're gonna get to a shrimp cocktail here. I'm actually gonna get some soup as well. Who am I? I don't know. This is the salt and the pepper shaker. But it was like, like that. How cool. 15 minutes. Hi, I'm Scott Lang. Um, well, you might know me as Ant Man. And I am Hope Van Dyne, the Wasp. Look, before we start, let me address the elephant in the room. I've heard a lot of chatter out there asking why I didn't shrink down, go in, and uh, kill Thanos in a really creative way. <laughs> First of all, Gross. <laughs> Secondly, it's much more complicated than that. Allow me to explain. If only we had the time. Anyway, tonight, through the power of quantum science, we will show you how together we can change the world. Yeah. Now, look, don't worry, kids. Quantum science sounds overwhelming. Trust me, it is. <laughs> These are quantum cores, cutting edge technology that for the first time allows us to specifically target our PIM particles to shrink or grow just about anything. Please don't get any crumbs. Buns, some like tomato butter tonight. Yeah. All right, I got this on my cat. Because I couldn't put it under the bed. Anyway, I want to shrink this suitcase and the swan to make it easier to take home. Well, making it smaller would make it better. Sweet, right? Ooh, so sweet. Oh. Man, it's closer than I thought. Uh, 
I, I can help. I just, I need some borrowing to start explaining it. Quick borrowing. Don't worry, I'll be there soon. I'm just kidding, it's pepper and it's delicious. It's like pepper pot. It was great in the world of Marvel. My pork schnitzel was good. I got my shrimp bio bun. And by the way, the, the grant, they've kind of changed it up actually how it works. 9.30, 9.35 is when everything kind of starts happening. I like this change that you get your food and then you get to experience the end of the show. If you're wondering why we didn't really film much of dinner, Case, what's going on, sweetie? I'm feeling seasick. I couldn't even eat. I had to tell him to... I, I canceled my entree. I didn't even get to eat entree. I was just feeling so sick. It happens to the best of us. It's okay. This happened to me on a carnival cruise on the last night, too. I just remember being like, I can't wait to get off the boat. Because that last night was really rocky, but... It's not like super rocky, I just, I don't know, we're wobbling and of course I forgot my Dramamine. I really messed up. I, I know that they have it though, at the medical centers. So we're not gonna push anything tonight, but Casey did say something kind of funny to lighten the mood. She goes, but I need to go shop still. <laughs> I still have stuff to buy at the store. We'll go. I will not be drinking tonight, I know that for a hundred percent facts. We'll rest a little bit here. Okay? Okay. Poor Casey. Poor Casey. Just to show you how we are moving, look at the hangers. It is not the smoothest rodeo. I feel like I'm okay. Um, we just gotta get Casey on more cruises. Like we are, we are rocking. But if you guys could show some, some love down below for Casey, I'm not sure if we're going to make it out in. I think you guys will understand. If anything, we'll do some shopping because I know, oof, I just felt a big, big one. But this is cruising, you know? It happens. It's unfortunate, but it happens. A little update, Casey did make it for shopping. However, our intention was to show you pretty much all the merch, but... We're gonna be taking it easy and I'll let you guys know what we do get. So we're kind of in and out for case to get back. Well, I thought this was a show, but they bring out all the characters one more time. In case you missed any of them, they're all here. It's a character palooza. Bye. Bye bye. It's like the, pla the place to be. They go back over there.
Well, this was the the last of the videos. We're disembarking tomorrow. We'll show you guys in tomorrow's episode when we get back and what we all bought. But thanks for being here on this series. I think we had a total of five videos, a live stream. And technically a little bit tomorrow, but it's kind of like a hybrid video where, you know, we get off and kind of talk about it and just uh, have a nice day. Because tomorrow's going to be like my birthday special because it's my birthday. But you guys aren't going to see that until like Saturday. So we'll see you guys tomorrow. Thanks for supporting and we'll hopefully get a good night's sleep. I'm feeling better now, but I just hope I can sleep tonight. Bye-bye. <laughs>